All right, man. I'm excited for this gear tasting. Got the Max Tracks in. Nice. You ready? Yes. All right. We also got that stuff from Proper and the 80% lower. Let's take a look. Here they are. Okay, so these are the Max Tracks. If you're not familiar with what these are, these are for overlanding or off-roading. So in case you get stuck in the snow or the sand and things like that, you can actually get unstuck. So <clears throat> I've really been looking forward to these. Um, if you're familiar with a thing called martial matting, that's kind of a term I was familiar with um, from the military. We'd have these big metal strips for driving through sand that we'd have to carry with us so that when we encountered sand and the tire got stuck, we could shove a piece of that martial matting under the tire and keep driving. So that's kind of what these Max Tracks do too. These, this is an Australian based company. Um, I'm really looking forward to checking these out. Um, they included some fixing and linking. So this is a linking kit so you can actually link these together. And then this is a mounting pin set to mount them up on my roof rack. That way. <laughs> um, and these, I think these are straps to actually pull them out. So if they get submerged in the sand or the mud or the muck, um, you can get them out with that. So you cut these open here. these are just kind of heavy duty like a heavy duty ABS plastic um, read instructions so I don't typically do that so it says serious traction huge footprint dual ramps and a shovel oh that's interesting so you can use these as a shovel too if you need to so they come in a bunch of colors too. Orange is kind of their typical color, but I got tan to kind of match my FJ. So looking forward to taking a look at them. Check it out, man. Max Trek sent me a challenge coin. Got a challenge coin. Look at that nifty little keychain. And a patch. And a bunch of stickers. Nice swag, Max Trex. Thank you. All right, so 80% lower is what we're working on first in the gear tasting here today. Um, this is from Optimus Defense. So what they did is they sent over a kit for us to check out. So with their drill jig, you can actually machine out the balance or the what's left in your 80% lower to turn it into a full lower. So the gist here is that with their with their drill jig, all you need is a drill press, and you can turn um, basically the 80% lower they sell um, into a fully functioning lower without having to transfer it to an FFL and things like that. So it's kind of an, an at-home way to build your own lower, which is the serialized part on an AR-15. So um, I'm looking forward to checking that out. We've we got some we got everything we needed in from them to to do that. So um, that's definitely something we're going to do a little series on on how to how to use that jig system to build that or finish out the 80% lower. Um, also wanted to kind of give a little shout out to the the muster peeps from last year. They got Kelly and I these uh, eighty percent lowers. These season since uh, muster rolls around in the same time that our anniversary is each year. They uh, they gifted us these, so I'm really looking forward to using this kit also to to finish out these lowers for Kelly and I. So thank you very much, muster peeps. And let's see. I'd also like to talk about the proper stuff that we got in. So proper sent us a bunch. Bunch of bunch of stuff, a metric shit ton of stuff. <laughs> um, I well, I'll go into. I guess let me talk about the pack first because it all kind of goes through this. So, this is their UC pack, which is user configurable. Um, it reminds me a little bit of like the M9 bag, um, just with this lower pocket down here. Kind of looks like that a little bit. Uh, it looks like a waterproof zipper. Um, it is made overseas, which. I just wanted to say up front because I, you can kind of see some of that with the, uh, you know, it's not, it's not real paracord there, and I, I don't know. 
It's not that that's a pet peeve of mine. It's just, um, I don't know. I tend to focus on American-made products. But at any rate, I wanted to kind of show this. So this has got a what looks to be somewhat of a Veltex type material in here um, that you can mount these pouches to. And it came with a, a slew of pouches. So there's a looks like a adjustable pistol sleeve. There is a Velcro backed pouch that's like a window pouch. And this is an extra extra gun rug, I guess that's basically what this is. So for pistols, that's not really something you can mount in the pack, but um, this looks like a like a mag pouch. And like an admin wallet sleeve type thing. That I guess has a removable backer on it. Kind of interesting. And then this is also, this is a molly mount, so I'm not sure, I have to look up what this is, but sent me a hat. Um, also sent me some stuff from Yeti, which I guess they, they deal with them to send out some stuff. This is a Rambler. You can drink coffee out of that too, huh? <laughs> Little koozie and a Yeti bottle opener. A plethora of goods from Harbor. So what I, uh, something I really wanted to show that I, I think this is fairly interesting design. I've never seen it before. So this is like a reversible pouch. So what they've done is create something that is, that can mount to a Molly system on the back. If you're not familiar with Molly, that's, God, I'm gonna forget the acronym, modular load system. Yeah, um, something like that. But at any rate, this is Molly webbing that's on the front. So the, uh, this interfaces with the Molly webbing. You can actually weave this through if you're not familiar with what that is. Um, but what I like about this pouch is that the shape is cool, but what I like is that, so it's molly mount on the back, you can literally turn it inside out, and it's got hook velcro on the back, so you can mount it inside too, kind of interesting. And then it's got a zipper system, so it can still zip up this way. You do see the interior of the, uh, the zipper chain and the fabric, uh, like the polyurethane backed nylon that they have, but at any rate, I thought that was cool. So that's stuff from proper we got. Also sent over this jacket. Hey, actually it's a windshirt. What do you think? Stylish, huh? All right, that's the windshirt from proper. Checking that out too. All right, so. One thing I want to do too is we're going to start a new segment. We're going to turn our questions that I've been answering into questions over coffee. So let me get my coffee. All right, I have some questions. This is from Gray on Twitter who wonders what the best iPhone 6 case is. I had a life proof for my 5. What's the next new case? Um, I haven't been trying out anything other than life proof. I don't have one yet for my big ass 6 Plus that I've been carting around with me, but the reason I picked up the 6 Plus is because I love the camera on it. Um, I really do feel like it's almost a replacement for a DSLR. I really feel like it takes that good of photos. So camera technology on, on cell phones has really come a long way, so I'm really interested in that. Um, I prefer to not have a case at all on phones, so it's kind of interesting the progression that iPhones have taken to go from you know, terrible glass to better glass, and now it's not as easy to, to mess them up. Um, I have just an Apple an Apple leather case on this, and I've dropped it a few times, to be honest with you, probably from, I don't know, I guess this height, and it's hit the case fine, and I haven't had any cracks in the screen or anything like that, so, um, you know, I have had, you know, some issues here where it's gotten scratched or whatever, but um, it's doing its job, it's protecting the phone. So... Granted, I can't take it swimming with me or anything like that. I would need a life proof for that. But so if I was going to be in that situation again where I'd need that, I would definitely pick up a, a life proof case. Um, I imagine that on the 6 Plus, it adds a considerable amount of bulk because it's such a big phone to begin with. So um, that's the deal. I mean, I wouldn't hesitate to pick up a life proof and check, out the, check it out for the 6 too. Um, um, you're just going to have a, a little bit of bulk on there, but the waterproofness and things like that that you gain would be a benefit. So another question. JH from Twitter. A piece of gear you use most in your daily work life that's not a computer or telephone. Anything for the aspiring creative. 
Um, how about a pen? I carry a pen with me all the time. Um, it's always in my pocket. I don't necessarily have the same type of pen all the time. Sometimes I'll carry this Parker Jotter. Um, sometimes there's a pen I'm, I've been kind of carrying that I'm not completely sold on. It's a little Lilliput from a company called Kawako, I think is how you say it. But it's a, it's a small pen. It almost looks like one of the little mini right in the rain pens that you can buy that's you know, half the size of this that unscrews and screws together. So it's the same concept with the little put, but it's a fountain pen. So I've kind of been digging that lately. It doesn't do so well in my pocket. I've had it, I've had some issues with it. So I kind of switched back to my jotter. Um, but the other one that I carry um, sometimes is the, uh, the TI bolt from Brian Fellhalter. I think I'm saying his name right, but it's a bolt action pen. And I really, I was really turned on to the the cartridges that he used, this is the first time I'd used them, but I I think this is one of the best ink cartridges around. This is a Schmidt. They're made in Germany. Um, I prefer, this is a medium one. I prefer the uh, you know, the fine ones if I can get them, but that's, uh, I also really like the, uh, the TI Bolt too. So those are a few of my favorite pens. And that's what I, that's something that I can't live without. Honestly, I always have to have a pen on me. I've usually got a, a notebook, a field notes, or some type of writing rain notebook or paper on me too. Um, but non-electronic devices, yeah. I mean, that and my daily carry, I carry a gun too. So um, I'm actually checking out the new the Glock 43 right now. So it's uh, it's been good. I like it. All right, so that's all we got for today. Thanks for watching Gear Tasting. Remember, this is where we answer your questions over coffee and show you what we're up to and currently evaluating ITS headquarters. So if you want to get your questions on the air, be sure to use the pound tag Gear Tasting, and thanks for watching.